Thanks, Ken Kreitzer and Iona at the practice for Gale Nation, practicing for the TBT tournament. Starts on Saturday. Have a chance to talk to the general manager of the Iona entry, uh, John Kiggins, an Iona grad. John, great to see you. Great job putting this team together. Some wonderful, familiar faces out here practicing tonight. Yeah, you know, I think that uh, this, this, this year we have a chance to do something really special. So we're really excited to be here and, uh, again, make the tournament for a second straight year. Yeah, tell us a little bit about, uh, I really enjoyed watching it last year. You got in the second round, a, a big grudge match against the Syracuse entry that went into overtime. What, just tell us a little bit about the background of the tournament and, and why it's really starting to get popular. Uh, I think, I mean, the main reason is when you're playing for $2 million, that's, that, that's kind of reason enough. Um, this year there are a lot more alumni teams that are in it. Um, I think it's really starting to catch on with a lot of the athletic programs that this could be an opportunity to promote the school, uh, promote their, their teams, and show, you know, life after your four years in college can really be something and you're really a family, as a lot of teams would consider themselves to uh, being. Absolutely. Tell us a little bit about you've been working, keeping track of all the players and uh, trying to uh, 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 work them into the schedule so they could uh, join the team. What, what, what's been involved with uh, putting the, together this roster? So it started last year right after we lost to Beheim's Army. Uh, me and AJ English came back in the car together. We were talking about it, uh, getting ready for next year. We, I started a group chat right when I got home. All the guys saying, look, next year this is what we want to do. Uh, continued to follow up throughout the year. I actually went over to Europe to go visit with a couple of the guys, which was an unbelievable experience. Uh, came back. A lot of the guys bought in right away. You know, they said, look, if we're going to do this, we're, we, you know, we want to do this right. Um, once you get a couple of the main guys to lock in everybody else is pretty easy very good now you got some amazing players uh, uh starting with your backcourt you got cv bird jr you got aj english sean armand you're gonna have scott machado back uh aaron roundtree on just the on the former iona players what's it like having that group of players together again uh it's kind of surreal i think a lot of the fans that are going to be at the game are going to you know kind of reminisce about um you know the the, the glory days I like to consider uh, of Iona basketball. Uh, you have Steve Bird, I believe, was number two scorer in, the, in school history. You have AJ English, number three. Sean Armand, Dave Lowry, um, Scott Machado, leader of Mac assists uh, all time. So uh, you, you have a lot of people that can play. You have a lot of scorers, and you have a lot of unselfish guys that all they care about is winning at the end of the day. So you got a few additions to the roster from uh, some other schools. Tell us about some of the uh, players that you that are joined the team. Yeah, so we added uh, Gary Forbes this year. Gary comes from UMass. Uh, I believe he was there around 10, uh, 10 years ago, something like that. He comes with uh, two years of NBA experience. He played with the Nuggets and the Raptors. So he brings a veteran leadership as well as another dynamic three-point scorer that we you know love to have here at Iona, as you know and you've uh, been accustomed to seeing. Uh, we also added Halil Kandasevic, uh, who played at St. Joe's. Uh, real rugged big man, great passer, great IQ, uh, loves to set screens, hit uh, you know hit people, and then he's also really good at uh, you know knocking down a couple of open threes too, which is what we're really excited about. Very good. Now tell us about the game Saturday. Uh, it's out in uh, Brooklyn. Tell us about the site and the time and how people can get tickets. Okay, so um, the game is this Saturday, July 21st at five o'clock. Um, currently until I believe it's Friday at midnight we have a promotion going on where you can go on to the tickets uh, if you go on to our Twitter handle at Gale Nation G-A-E-L-N-A-T-I-O-N T-B-T uh, we'll have the link uh, to get tickets and if you use the code IONA25 you save 25% uh, off tickets it's going to be a great event uh, I know a lot of people personally from my family, friends that are going. So we sh we're expecting close to a sellout, which is going to be a great atmosphere. We're hoping to bring the Heinz down to uh, the LIU Brooklyn campus. Absolutely. Tell us about the opponent, Sideline Cancer. Uh, Sideline Cancer, they're, they're, they're very good. They, uh, they, they played as the 12th seed last year. They actually upset the team that they were playing. So, uh, you know, it's one of those things in this tournament there's no easy out. There's no game where you can kind of say, oh, you know, I think this is going to be an easy win, or there's no game where you can kind of look past any opponent. You know, I've, I've actually watched one of their players, Dustin Selva, uh, play in Pro City the past couple weeks, and he's averaging around 25 points. So, you know, you're dealing with professionals in every sense of the word on any team that you play. So it's about keeping that focus and not looking at the seed, but rather focusing on the end goal. And that's that's winning the $2 million. And it starts with uh, Saturday uh, with sideline cancer. 
Well, very good, John Kiggins. Great job putting this together. I think this is a great format. It was a lot of fun last year, and it's going to be even better this year. Just watching these guys practice, Stevie Burb had some great moves. Sean Armand is hitting long shots. It's just amazing to watch these guys. Yeah, I mean, as you know, last year we were one three-pointer from uh, Steve Bird away from making it to the Sweet 16. So um, it's a very guard-dominant tournament. And I think a lot of the people who have watched Iona over the years are going to be real happy and excited with, uh, with the product that we've put together this year. John, great to see you. I look forward to Saturday. This is Ken Kratzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio at Iona.